Welcome to my culture project for my intercultural communications course. Let's jump right into it. My name is Robert Joel Keenan. I'm Irish, Italian, Jewish, and American. I was born right here in Lowell, Massachusetts and grew up in this state my entire life. I grew up in a pretty average American household without very serious uh, ethnical and cultural traditions for the most part. I wanna give you, on top of everything else, the breakdown of my name. My first name, Robert, is ancient German, and it means bright fame. My middle name, Joel, is Jewish and derived from the name Yoel, which means Yahweh is God. My last name, Kenan, is Irish, recorded as O'Kenan, or more usually Kenan, this is an Irish surname. It originates from the ancient pre-10th century Gaelic name, O'Kainan, meaning the descendant of the faithful one or similar. It may not have been entirely coincidence that the clan was famous throughout the medieval period for producing both high-ranking members of the church and early historians, in several cases the same thing. I thought that was extremely encouraging and a blessing to know that my God-given name very much so reflects the call of God on my life to represent him and, and be a minister of the gospel. My name being bright fame, Yahweh is God, the descendant of the faithful one. I'm very humbled and, and blessed to be able to share that with you. Moving on, defining the meaning of culture. The definition of culture, according to our lecture, which used the book Incarnational Ministry, is the more or less integrated system systems of beliefs, feelings, values, and worldviews shared by a group of people and communicated by means of their systems of symbols. There were two definitions that Merriam-Webster's dictionary has, which are number one, the customary beliefs social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or social group. Also, the characteristic features of everyday existence, such as diversions or a way of life shared by people in a place or time. The second definition, the set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution or organization. Further, I have my ethnicities and heritage. So on my father's side, his parents going back five generations are 100% Irish. My mother had Italian, Irish, Russian, and Jewish in her heritage. So my mother's father had Italian and Irish in, her in his heritage, and my mother's mother which i said had italian irish russian and jewish a lot so along with this video i'll be turning in snapshots of my family tree on my father's side and dna percentages from my mother's side for language in my home growing up we spoke english in my mother's home or amongst relatives her uncle and brother could speak italian on my father's side they spoke english in their household as well for food, we did have a strong Irish and Italian influence in the food that we ate when I was growing up. I grew up pretty much on steak and potatoes and other nights, pasta and pizza. As far as ethnic foods are concerned, and of course, plenty of American fare as well. My grandmother on my mother's side has always made a spectacular homemade Italian pasta meat sauce which is a coveted and celebrated family recipe. My grandfather on my mother's side also made a great homemade Italian meat sauce as well. So for holiday celebrations, in regards to holidays growing up, my family, we always celebrated Christmas, Easter, or Resurrection Sunday, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, uh, and New Year's Day, Veterans Day, Independence Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and we honored the rest of the national holidays for the most part as well. So I hope this gives you a glimpse into 
my family and I's heritage and ethnicity. I thought it was super cool to share the breakdown of my name and everything that I have grown up identifying with and as. And so thank you for joining me for my cultural project. And that's it. Thank you.